The Malaysian media statistic has 34 million mobile subscribers and 17.5 million internet users. Social media have been used to express the individual opinion as well. In my opinion, cyberbullying is a bad thing. It does have an impact on people. It makes people look down on themselves, have less confidence, and maybe someone has to commit suicide if it's very, if it's really serious. For me, it's a social bullying. 网络霸凌是在网络上散播一些谣言去重伤其他人，这种行为是很严重了。为什么？因为这种行为分分钟可以夺取人家的性命，你会害到一个人，你你可能会害到一个人，失去了他们的性命。Okay, cyber bullying is like uh where people harass each other, embarrass each other, and bully each other through the internet. Um, and the impact is where people can commit suicide or they can actually. Yeah, move will be down and something like that. Any form of bullying is, is, is bad. That should include cyber bullying. Actually, I'm not that into it. I don't know that much about like cyber bullying, but I think it's bad. You know, like everything that is like related to violence, there are these kind of things. So, uh, a lot of people just do not know their responsibility or say what they should and what they shouldn't. Um, the other thing about it is that the society should be educated about it. Um, there's a lot of things that the government is not actually doing the right job and not educating the right things towards the, um, let's say, the students or the kids. They should know the responsibility, they should know when to stop. Cyber bullying can actually destroy someone's life. A lot of girls and guys, they feel the boss that they're actually doing bullying. Some are actually people that actually want to actually, um, they believe in suicide. Because uh, someone says something and to them it means a lot, it should and it shouldn't mean it shouldn't mean much. But because we have access up to that level, so you know, every day we go to news, not just in Malaysia, but in any other country, there's someone uh, who just gives him or his or herself because of cyber bullying. Cyber bullying is a very, very wrong thing, shouldn't do it. No one deserves it. A male named Josh Evans was created the MySpace account for bullying messages to mail. Everybody in Orphaland knows who you are. You are a bad person and everybody hates you. Have a shitty rest of your life. The world will be a better place without you. Megan Mayer was an American teenager who died of suicide. Her suicide was attributed to cyberbullying through the social networking website MySpace. After receiving the last message from Josh Evans, Mayer was found 20 minutes later in her bedroom closet. She had hanged herself with a belt. This is one of the famous cyberbullying cases in America. Here we go for a professional lecture opinion about cyberbullying. In my opinion, uh, of course, this would be better based on facts and data, which I don't have it of hand like this but on average just based on my exposure uh, and based on discussion with other people I think cyberbullying is a huge issue um, not just in Malaysia but anywhere worldwide just because when it comes to cyberbullying it's easier it's easier for people to do because people are behind your keyboard so these are what people like call keyboard warriors so it's easy for them to just say whatever even though that is something that is insensitive that is rude because many times they feel that they can get away with it and they could most of the time. Here a victim close friend who like to share his loss and thoughts about the story of his friend. My friend's name is Dashini. We were very close friends in the National Service. I met her there. Um, it was I think two years ago when I got a call from she said that my friend passed away. Uh, it was a very shocking news for me because we were very close and we were like best friends. So I asked around like, what happened to my friend? How did she pass away? Apparently what I heard was she got bullied in college. People started to ignore her. People like, you know, they did not talk to her, they made fun of her, they made false accusations against her. 
for things she had never done. And then what I heard was uh, the attempt that she suicide was the third attempt. Previously, she tried to suicide, but her friends also like stopped her. You know? So the third attempt where she she could not take it anymore. She just jumped down and she just took her life away just like that. And it still brings me tears to today as I talk about it. She was a very cheerful person, very strong, very courageous, friendly, helpful. And I don't know why would she do that. So bullying is something that is not taken lightly. It should be punishable according to law. It affects a person not only emotionally but mentally as well, you know. So yeah, pretty much that's it. Hi, I'm sure of course I would say yes. Yes, I think it's serious. Yes, stop cyberbullying. Yes. Yes. Yes, from now. Stop cyberbullying, think before you type. Or advises to the victims. Well, for me personally, should that have happened to me, if somebody says something nasty to me on to my social media, for example, first of all, pause and think. Is there any any truth in that to certain extent? Because sometimes, yes, people are just rude. But maybe there's some truth in there. So at that point you should pause and reflect, is there something might be truth that you can probably work on. But if you looked at it and it is just something baseless and it's just unnecessary to me, first of all, reject those people. Don't, don't even include them in your social media. But if you can't even do that, maybe it is in platform that is general that people can just make comment. Let's say if I'm a celebrity, so yes, I ban you from my social media, but people write in their own blogs, people write in their um, articles, for example. You know, if you don't think that's wrong, do it a proper way. Take a legal action. Yeah, you can actually launch a police report and say that this is not right and this have affected me. In fact, you can even sue them for your psychological distress, for example. So it really, by the end of the day, boils down to you. Certain things you can just look and just laugh it off because you can't please every single person, and everybody are entitled to their own opinion. But if you think you can't handle and it is really affecting you as a person as well as your career for example, then yes, take action but do it the proper way. If you go back and you banging them with your rudeness or with your words for example, you're just like them and you're also engaging in cyberbullying. So you know, I think that is just my two cents on the issue of cyberbullying. <laughs> Turns out the wrong side of the bed is the right side Get out of bed on the left and I smile wide Cause I know I'm gonna make this big It's the best of both worlds, I can change my wig Get it? Time to show what we each do Call stupid but we smile when we need to Screw logic, let's get crazy We is the new normal like the world is Jamie's You can't blame me cause I